On this screen you can choose which of the standard Western Electric alarm tests you're going to put into place. Now, as you can see, it defaults to a single alarm type. That's the one out of one instances of a source tag outside three sigma. That's outside control. One out of one means we simply need uh, one value to go outside the three sigma and either above or below the center line and we generate an alarm. Of course, if you'd like to be absolutely sure and uh, restrict this, you can go for two out of two and we won't alarm until we get a second one. So you can control how conservative or how, um, you know, how uh, broad you'd like to make these uh, alarm cases. And as I said, we suggest you choose or you start with the outside control because it, is, because it is the standard alarm that you hear about with statistical quality control. It's easy to explain and it gives a very valuable alarm to operations. Uh, these other ones, you'll notice they are all standard and they have their own purpose, which we'll describe in a bit. But we would suggest that you start off uh, turning these off and just using the first one because, of course, when you roll this out in operations, you don't want a great number of alarms that are just confusing to people. Uh, this is pretty straightforward to explain the three standard deviations, but when you start seeing subtleties like four out of five that are outside one standard deviation, you know, that's when, uh, if you don't do a lot of training on this, people may start just ignoring these alarms. So we do support all the standards and you can control uh, the actual criteria that are used for whether that goes into alarm or not. I'm going to go ahead and clear these and use the single test. I'd like to take a look now at some of the Western Electric tests. Uh, just a reminder, again, these are all used to try to help detect the assignable cause variation. In other words, the things that are not just normal variability in a process. Of course, not all assignable cause variation is process upset. Sometimes it can be instrument problems or operator errors. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, these are the seven standard. You sometimes hear of an eighth or QSUM uh, charts that uh, are done for SQC. We don't support QSUM charts. We do support the 7 standard. And, uh, and of course, we can select any combination of these tests to trigger an alarm. So let's take a look at the first one. This is the standard one that you hear so much about, the one point outside the control limits, the three standard deviations violation. And the potential interpretation of this is, well, uh, unfortunately, a lot of times it's because the control limits are just not accurate. Unless you've got real good historical data of good production, uh, this would be the first thing you'd look for. Are these really control limits that are accurate? And um, you do find a, a lot of nuisance errors if SQC has not been set up carefully with good control limits. So that's one thing to watch for. A second thing would be, of course, measuring error. Just the data is coming in wrong. Uh, if you've got a new quality inspector or new operator who's bringing in the data or sampling the data improperly. Uh, if he's doing uh, quality control work that's uh, a little bit under par, that may result in something outside three standard deviations. If you've simply got bad calibration in the manufacturing device, it's going further and further out of, out of calibration, and we eventually get to the point where it's outside three standard deviations, which of course you need to know about. Uh, now here's the one most people think of immediately, first thing off, is deterioration of operating conditions. Again, it, it could be that or could be some of these other things that are really kind of measurement errors, but it could in fact be that your operating conditions are, uh, are going bad on you. You're not running the process the way you should be, and now is the time to change your target limits or change control in some way. And of course, remember that the point of doing this now, waiting for the three standard deviations, is so that people won't over control. In operations, people tend to over control rather than under control. We want to make sure that people don't do anything until they see something that really indicates an assignable cause variation. And this would be an example of that. You could have inadequate raw material, or it could be simply new instrumentation uh, measuring error. As you go through the list of different Western Electric tests, you'll notice that many of them involve uh, either bad uh, fundamental assumptions on your data when you created, created the alarm limits or uh, measuring devices that are becoming inaccurate. Uh, as we go through this list, uh, things come up that are fairly routine, but uh, you'll find some new ideas like, for example, uh, perhaps there's been a change in raw material. So in this test three, four to five successive points in the same zone, that would be an indication that 
the material I'm measuring is just not the material you think you're measuring. Uh, you set up your alarm for, I should say. So that would be a change of raw material. Also, it could be an adjustment of the process to too high or too low a level. So in other words, somebody's changed a set point, so it's fundamentally running the process a little differently, which means your SQC alarms are really no longer uh, within the right range. Now this test four, where we have eight successive points outside of one center line, that could be because the data is coming from the wrong uh, manufacturing source. You think you're getting a one set of data, but in fact uh, everything you're getting is from, say, a different quality tag or different manufacturing tag. And of course, uh, things are going to be outside what you would think they'd be centered around the center line. Uh, if you've got instrumentation that's incorrect, if the operators are changing back and forth and people are running it a little different or inspecting it different, you'd find those. Now test five is the 15 consecutive points between zero and one sigma. And the potential interpretation for that is you, again, you've got some kind of operator or inspection error. The instrumentation's new, a bad adjustment of the process, things are you're not getting the normal variability you would expect. If you've got data that's coming from different manufacturing sources, in other words, if the uh, source of the data is not the data that was used when you were developing the SQC alarm limits, then that means that the limits you have must be too broad or else you wouldn't get so many within one standard deviation. Test six is when you have eight consecutive points that are outside one sigma and the potential interpretation here is you've got raw material coming from two different sources and about neither source apparently is within the uh, the range that you would expect to see your data come in. So uh, as you can see here, one source is producing results up here, the other source down here. That's one interpretation of why these values are coming in like this. Another is if you've got two different people either running or taking samples and they're doing the process a little bit differently and resulting in different, uh, you know, two different procedures resulting uh, in two different uh, resulting uh, sets of data. It just doesn't necessarily mean that the process is changing. It's just the way people are running it or the way people are measuring the process has changed. Again, two measurement methods is the same, same thing really. Uh, if you've got data coming from two different measuring devices, maybe the raw material is the same, but you've got different instrumentation measuring that. This six consecutive points going up or down also known as trend, uh, the potential interpretation there is when you just have some kind of equipment that's gradually going out of configuration or gradually, gradually deteriorating in performance. Uh, if your operating ch conditions are changing over time, of course you'll see these kinds of things trend. Uh, you're introducing new raw material, you've got um, product that's deteriorating, catalysts or whatnot, and or you simply have people that are no longer running the process as efficiently as they normally are. So these are the types of interpretations. Uh, you'll find books and books upon this. We, we've been recommending the Western Electric SQC Handbook, which is actually was published during the 50s. Now it's the Lucent Handbook, and I think before that it was the AT&T SQC Handbook. But uh, that's really uh, an excellent resource on uh, all these SQC alarm types.